Hello and welcome to the sixth devlog for Mecha Knight's Nightmare. Let's talk about the current state of the project, the planned release date, and some recently added features. The game reached closed beta state in February 2021. All 20 levels of the campaign and the vast majority of content such as mech parts and weapons are all in place. Work is now being focused on polishing, balancing, fixing remaining issues, and intense testing. The game is being developed by one person, but many have volunteered to help the project, mostly in quality assurance by hunting bugs, but also with suggestions on improving the gameplay or script advice. Big thanks to you guys! To ensure Mecha Knights will be released in the best possible state, the planned release date is timed for late May 2021. There isn't a high risk of delay, but releasing the game without any major issues is a priority. Work has completed on many new features since the last dev vlog. Let's see a few of them. To add some depth to the combat system, weapons now have an effective range. Some weapons classes now deal less damage beyond a certain range, and this will apply to different weapon classes to varying degrees. Rockets, missiles, and energy weapons will be affected by this less than bullet-fed weapons. Mass-firing Gatling guns will be better at close ranges, while an assault rifle will shoot slower but will be more effective at longer ranges. New mech parameters have been added to the customization options for your mech. Those are Lock-on target's limit, Lock-on target acquisition speed and radar range, those are mainly affected by head units, which are now separated in three classes, multi-roll, lock-on, and radar. Load limits have seen a rework. Under-equipping your mech beneath the load limit will increase effective speed of the mech and reduce the energy consumption when moving with boosters. However, overloading your mech can see a larger negative impact and efficiency lowered. Mech torsos are now divided into four new classes. Siege, with high hit points and additional ammo storage space. Assault, with high hit points and energy capacity. Interceptor, with high energy capacity and faster weapon cooling. Multi-roll, with balanced stats to facilitate multi-roll combat. One of the key features of Mecha Knights are the large-scale battles. There can be over 150 enemy and allied units fighting in any one moment. This requires a lot of work to be done on optimization. One of the recently added improvements is displaying enemy units as animated billboards when very far away from the player, which significantly improves overall performance. Billboard animation uses only two triangles geometry, while the enemy models with the lowest level of detail use around 500 triangles. That's it for now, Knights. Next time, we will talk about the Endless Waves game mode and special mechanics in levels such as bombardments and airstrikes. Are there any other topics you would like to hear about? please ask in the comments below. Please also consider leaving a like to support the project and subscribing to the Mecha Knights channel to get the next update as soon as it lands. More coming soon, see you next time!